Shot by New Zealand cameraman Jeff Mackley, it's been called the most spectacular volcano footage ever. It serves as a reminder that wherever we are on the planet, an inferno rages beneath our feet. What does it look like? Looks like the surface of the sun. It looks like all of my wildest dreams into one moment. Sometimes hundreds of kilometers separate us from the superheated rock or magma below. But at other points, it rises up through cracks, becomes more liquid, and pierces the surface as lava. And when it does, the energy released is so intense that even wearing a heat suit and breathing apparatus, Jeff can only stay this close to it for a matter of seconds. If it wasn't for the air from the breathing tanks and the, um, the heat suit, it would probably just about kill you. You, you could feel it, well and truly feel it through the heat suit. <laughs> even with the heat suit on, it's, um, it's like being in an oven. Um, one or two minutes, even with the breathing apparatus, all this stuff on. The lava's probably 30 metres away, and it's um, just the most incredible heat. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing to describe it, <laughs> nothing on Earth. So. so intense is the heat contained in the Earth, it's thought it can move entire continents, causing earthquakes and tsunamis which devastate life on the surface. But at 30 metres from the lava lake, Jeff is probably as close as it's possible to get. And that's why, for thousands of years, people have only been able to make educated guesses about the extraordinary forces that shape our world. The latest thinking suggests that energy currents move through the asthenosphere, taking heat from deep below to the surface of the Earth. And this massive movement of heat creates currents that can shift the plates on the surface, causing earthquakes and volcanoes. When magma reaches the surface, it's called lava, and being at a divergent plate margin, Iceland's lava comes from the mantle. That means it contains a lot of basalt. It can usually flow quite freely, and it's called basaltic lava. It might come from one source, but look at the evidence of past eruptions and you'll soon see there are different types. Some is smooth. It even has ripples that have turned to stone. This is called pahoehoe. Other bits are more spiky due to gases expanding or exploding during an eruption. This is called a'a. There are other types too and the type of lava affects the shape of landforms that are created. 